Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And what about you? I'm good too. Thank you for asking. So I'm Dhanya and I will be your speaker for the session. Okay. Can you introduce yourself too? Okay. I'm Sneha. I study in class fifth and I am 10 years old. I am from Chhattisgarh, Korba and my hobbies are singing, playing keyboard uh, and I also like to paint and draw. Okay, so when did you start learning keyboard? A keyboard, uh, my father taught me from class 3. Okay, so now are you good at playing it? Yes, I can play it well. Okay, that's nice. So, what songs can you play on keyboard? I can play... Uh, Christian gospel song on Which keyboard. Songs? Christian gospel songs. Okay, that's nice. And your father taught you these songs? Yes, he taught me these songs. Okay, that's nice. So, and who made you join Clapingo? Uh, my father joined me on Clapingo. Okay, and why are you on Clapingo? What's the reason behind that? Uh, I I um I want to improve my English. Okay. What else? And I want to speak English with my uh, parents and friends okay. and teachers. Okay. So, in which language do you usually speak in your school? I speak in Hindi. Okay. So your school is in Hindi medium or an English medium? It is an English medium school. Okay. So, but you usually speak Hindi? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, what are you, how are your studying, studies going these days? My study is good. Your studies are going good? Yes. Okay, what are you studying these days? I am studying my subjects uh, Hindi, English, Science, uh, SST, uh, GK Moral, Computer. Okay, so what's your favorite subject out of all these? My favorite subject is Science. Oh, Science. Why yes. do you like Science? I like science because uh, I can because I can learn uh, many things and uh, and new facts. Okay, so you like learning new facts? Yes, I like it. Okay, that's nice. So, uh, who books your sessions on Clapico? My father books all the sessions. Okay, okay. And do you choose who you want to have a session with or your parents choose it? Uh, we both choose. Okay, that's nice. And for how long have you been on this platform? Uh, it is my 35th, 35th session, but some of them were cancelled. Okay. Okay, no problem. So, uh, I'll just try to, uh, you know, in, uh, correct some of your pronunciations. Okay? You understand okay. what I mean by pronunciation, right? Yes. Okay. So, like the pronunciation of the word session. How do you pronounce it? Session. Yeah. You, uh, when you speak it in a sentence, you pronounce it as session. Okay? But we pronounce it as session. Session. It has the sound of a e, session. Session. Okay. Yes. Now you're saying it correctly. So whenever there is any word which has a e sound, you do not have to pronounce it as a, e, like America. No, it's America. 
it is pronounced as america how how will you pronounce it america yes america whenever there is an a sound america a you don't have to pronounce it as america ah you don't have to do it like that okay okay all right so what are your uh, yeah you told me about your hobbies right playing keyboard yes okay so did you go through our today's session topic yes i saw today's uh, topic what is it tell me uh, gen generation gaps okay it's generation gap so do you know what is generation gap uh It's okay if you do not know. Say that you don't know. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, if you do not know anything, you can say that it's okay. You don't have to know everything. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I'll tell you what we mean by generation gap. Okay, by generation gap, we mean that your generation and your father's generation. These are two generations, right? You yes. are. You must be ten years old right now. Yes. Your father must be around forty. Right. Yes. Thirty between thirty to forty. So there is an age gap of around thirty years. Right. So this age gap, okay, this more like an age gap of ten years, twenty years, thirty years, fifteen years, twelve years. Seventeen, sixteen, whatever. Okay, when there is a huge age gap, then we call it as generation gap. That means there are two generations. Okay. okay. And the actual meaning of generation gap is that your thinking, what, how you think, and how your parents think. The difference between both of these thinking that is actually called generation. okay like how you okay. think how you perceive things do you know the meaning of perceive no i don't know no i like the meaning of perceive is how you think how you think of something your opinion about something that is the okay. meaning of perceive okay the spelling is p e r c e i v e Perceive. This is a new word that you are learning right now. Okay. Okay. So this is actually called generation gap. Understood, Sneha? Okay. Okay. So before we move forward, do you have any questions that you would like to ask me? Any queries about English about me? Uh, Ma'am, where are you from? I am from New Delhi. India. And what are your hobbies? What are my hobbies? Oh, my hobbies are watching some movies or any web series or listening to songs, going out for you know just to you know going out for a walk or just go out and just go and hang out. These are my hobbies. Okay. So, do you like to read books? Yes, I like reading books. Okay. So, what kind of books do you read? I read story books. Wow, story books. So, what's the last story book that you read? I read. Um, I read a moral story. So you narrate that story to me. I am giving you a task. Okay. Narrate okay. that story to me and tell me the moral of the story. All right. Okay. If you want to take one or two minutes to recall the story or think about the story, you can take. You have two minutes. It's forty-two right now. You have two minutes till forty-four. Think about that story. Think how will you narrate it. And after two minutes, I'll again ask. Okay. 
Okay. Is it fine? Okay, yes. Okay. So you have two minutes. Your time starts now. Think about it. Okay, yeah, so start. Uh, once upon a time, there was a lion. Not lion. 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 Once upon a time, there was a lion. Uh, it was... Uh, uh, it was uh, very hungry. So, it was very hungry. So, he he started uh, searching for... One second. Anna. One second, one second. I'm interrupting you. If you are using it as a pronoun for lion, then you cannot use he in the next sentence. Okay. If you are using it for lion, then in every sentence you will use it, not he or she. Got it? Okay. Continue. So, uh, once upon, hungry, uh, once upon time, time, there was a lion. He was very hungry. Uh, uh, he was searching for uh, an animal uh, to eat. So, uh, when he was uh, walking, so he he saw a cave. Uh, he entered in that cave to he entered in that cave to uh, to wait uh, uh, to wait for an animal to come. So uh, that uh, that. Uh, in that cave, uh, a fox lived. So the fox came, and he saw the footprints of. Uh, he saw the footprints of the lion. Lion. Lion going inside, but did not found any foot. Did not uh, find. No, no, no. You you're using the wrong tense. Whenever we say did not, we do not use the past tense after did not. We say okay. did not find. Did not do, did not play, did not read. Okay, after did not, the verb is in present tense, not past tense. Okay. okay. Uh, but he, uh, but uh, he did not uh, find any. But he did not find any any footprints uh, coming out from the cave. So. Uh, he, but uh, but to confirm that there is a lion inside his cave, lion, uh, lion, lion inside his cave, he shouted, uh, "Cave, cave, may I come in?" So uh, there was silence. There was silence around. Uh, so he he shouted again. Uh, uh, cave, uh, you always answered. Uh, why are you now silent? So the the lion lion thought the lion thought uh, uh, the this cave must be answering him every day. So I must also answer. I also uh, I also must answer. So he said that you may come in. Then the fox understood. Uh, that there is a, a lion, so he ran away. The moral of the story is, uh, 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 we should always be uh, uh, cautious. Okay. Wow, clapping. You narrated the story very, very, very well. And you are a very small child right now. You're just in fifth class. But the way you speak English, it's very nice. You know, you speak it better than big people. Or I would say you speak it better than older people than you. People who are elder to you. You speak it better than them. Thank you. Yeah. And you don't really make a lot of errors. There are certain minor errors. But, you know, when you, when I tell them to you, you grasp them very quickly. You understand your mistakes very quickly and you quickly correct them. So that's a very good point about you. Okay? Okay. okay. 
So, would you like to narrate another story if you remember any? Because I really love listening to you. Do you remember any other story? Yes, I remember one story. Okay. Would you like to narrate it to me? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, once there was a, a a treasurer in a palace, but uh, he had a a a, a ba- he had a uh, he had a bad habit. He uh, whenever he started he starts a. Uh, uh, um, he starts calculating he, he would always uh, made mistakes he okay. he would always make, made mistakes so uh, the king was uh, upset with him he said to him i am giving you one chance you can uh, uh, you can uh, you can calculate it the whole night but but the treasurer did not did not uh, tried did not try did not try not tried did not try you remember that okay. right what i told you yes but the treasurer did not try he went uh, he he went out the palace and uh, he started uh, walking in the in the forest there he saw a bird make uh, 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 that bird was making its na- its nest so it was uh, um, but uh, the the twig by which he uh, it was making its nest uh, was fa- uh, falling again and again but uh, but it did not but the bird did not uh, stop he he flew down uh, he he flew down and uh, uh, and uh, picked up the uh, picked up the uh, twig then the treasurer saw it he he thought that if the bird can try again then how uh, why not me so he went the palace again and uh, he went the palace went again in the palace again he okay. went in the palace or went out of the palace Got okay it? he went in the palace and uh, then he started calculating the whole night and in the morning when the when the king saw it uh, he was uh, pleased because uh, because the treasurer uh, did not made any did not make any mistakes in his calculation so the moral of the story is we should always try again okay wow that's nice you know you narrate such good stories so you are a very good speaker actually for your age for this little age you are a very good speaker okay mm-hmm. so sneha our today's session is almost about to get over and it was great to talk to you you're a very lovely cute little girl okay so would love to see you in the next sessions do you have any questions that you would want to ask me uh No I don't have any questions. Okay. Then our today's session is almost over. So would love to see you in the next session. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.